Hi class, this is to help with um, using the slope function and the intercepts function in Excel. They are very handy to use and um, they are very nice to have. Okay, so let's start with slope. So I have my x values and I have my y values. If I want to use the slope function, I'm going to start by typing that equal sign and then I'm going to start typing slope. And you can see it pop up. You can finish typing it if you want, but I like to click on it, hit tab, and it'll automatically put it in there for you. So if you click, hit tab on your keyboard, and it'll auto put it in there for you. And then we need to enter in our known y's and our known x's. So we're gonna go up to our values. We're gonna select our y values. Once we got those selected, if we wanna type a comma, and then we're gonna select our x values. And then we'll close our parentheses and hit enter. And then there, it should output our slope. So after you get this done, make sure you check to see what formatting you need to use on your slope, how many decimal places you need to round to. So now let's do the same thing for intercept. So if we want to calculate the intercept, we hit equals. We start typing intercept, and there it pops up. So now I'm going to hit tab. If you don't hit tab, you need to make sure you type that entire intercept and then open your parentheses. Same thing with slope. If you don't hit tab, you need to go ahead and type it out and open that parentheses. And then we're going to do the same thing again. We need the known y's and then the known x's. So we will select our y's, type a comma, and then now we're going to select our x's, close our parentheses, and hit enter. And again, we'll need to check to make sure we formatted everything correctly. Make sure you check your rounding, all that good stuff. And there you've got it.